welcome to People Who Inspire. I'm your host, Mary Drelizak. We're here today at Connellsville Area High School in the iMedia Center where the Strong Kids podcast is produced. Strong Kids is a Mary Motivates podcast and it features high school students who have risen above as well as those who are working to make a dream come true, who make life better for others, and who model strength of character. Thanks so much for being with us. Here we are in the iMedia Center with some of the strong kids that we have uh, focused on so far and some we have not yet. Um, the school is housed with strong kids everywhere and our inspiration curator is Adrienne Jordan Egnot. She's a library specialist but I call her the inspiration curator because everybody hangs out here and so why wouldn't you want to hang out here and she's able to get to know these students and really um, get to know their stories, their life stories. So our inspiration curator. So Adrian, can you introduce us to some of our Yesterday. Yeah, we have several students here. We have Nico Munson. He's a senior. We have Morgan Catellis. She is a junior here at the high school. We have Kyle Caravallo. He is a senior as well. We have Amy Yutzi, who is also a senior. Josiah Hearn, who's a senior. And Tyler Anderson, who's a senior as well. Very good. So let's start with Tyler. So Tyler, I interviewed you for um, a podcast that hasn't yet aired yet, but you are um, an, a robotics um, guru, if you will. That's yeah, your thing. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that and, and how this has happened in your life that you've become so passionate about robotics. <clears throat> well, uh, it started off in seventh grade. Uh, whenever I made it to the middle school, there was a robotics program there and sure enough, my dad was teaching it. So, <laughs> so I took that class and it was really fun. We got to uh, build Lego Mindstorm uh, drones and, and you programmed them and they would uh, roam around the classroom and, and we would have little mazes that you had to make them go through and it, it was just a really cool experience. Oh, that is fun. So your dad is a robotics teacher here so that's it's, it's all in the family. I also know you volunteer. So where do you volunteer? Yeah, I volunteer at my uh, church youth group. Uh, we go up uh, for a weekend in the summer and then we do a full week in the summer and I am a uh, counselor there for the little kids and uh, I also work out at the soccer field so I'm a referee there and I help them uh, cook at the concession stand. That's awesome. So you're busy. You're busy in school and out of school. Yeah. And Josiah. Well, Josiah, I know you're a runner. Tell me about this. It's, what do you do? It's a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. I started it all started, I played football my seventh grade year, and I like quickly found out it wasn't for me because I didn't know what I was doing at all. And at one point, towards the end of the year, I got my first interception only to get plowed over by some kid, be by some bigger kid. Then I decided to switch to running. And from there, it kind of just, I, I kind of just started to have fun in it because I started winning races and such. You found out you were a really good runner. Yeah. Did you know you were a good runner when you were playing football? I noticed like I'd be ahead of all the kids when we do like laps and stuff. That's really good. So do you, is it um, um, cross country? Is it, is it what kind of running? Is it track? I do cross country and I do track, but I eventually want to make it up to ultra marathons. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Do you participate in 5Ks or 10Ks now? 5Ks, and then when I get to college, I'll bump up to the 10K. That's great. And you're a senior now, so where are you going to go to college? Slippery Rock. Oh, that's got awesome. And then what do you want to do? What's your career goal? I'm thinking something in either accounting or homeland security. Wow. Wow. But you'll always be a runner. That's, that's, that's awesome, too. That's awesome. One thing I like about running is that you don't have people around you cheering you on. If you're a runner and you're an ultra runner, there's nobody cheering you on. It has to come from within you. It's your own motivation to make it go, to make yourself go farther and farther and farther. And that's going to come to back to help you be successful in life too. So that's great. Good for you. Awesome. So Amy, mm -hmm. hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We haven't interviewed Amy yet for the podcast, but Amy is a cheerleader mm -hmm. and she loves to come to the iMedia Center. Why do you like to come here? What's so special about this? Well, this iMedia Center is a good way to, it makes learning fun. So you have like the sound room and you have the one button studio where you can come do your school projects and you can do it in a fun way. Tell me about the one button studio. Like, um, well, it sounds fun, but I have no yeah. idea what it is. Um, <laughs> you can video self, videotape yourself doing like reports or um, presentations for class. They have a green screen where you can put pictures and everything up on mm. 
behind you and that's you great so really then when your um, work and this is what the iMedia Center is all about is to really um, help students in all of their classes um, be able to present on a technology basis um, in, in any way shape or form so that's really awesome yeah that you love to I would love to come here too and I do love to come here uh, for the podcast so I can understand that what do you want to do when you graduate Amy? Uh, I want to go to college and major in business management and okay. marketing very good very good Tyler did I ask you what you want to do when you go to college since I'm starting this trend I better come back to you <laughs> yeah I wanted to uh, go to Penn State uh, for business yes uh, Actually, it's the same as what Amy just said. It's uh, business management, and I was going to do uh, a dual major of uh, entrepreneurship and finance. That's great. For your ultimate goal, what's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal? <laughs> well, that would be to uh, run my own business. Uh, I haven't really figured out what kind of business I'm going to have yet, whether it's my own product or uh, running, running a business where someone else is making their product and I'm just uh, doing the finances for them very but good. I'm thinking I might have my own stock broker very good that's good that's good you good in New York yeah yeah all right if you're gonna if you're gonna go to Wall Street yes that's awesome that's, that's a great goal <laughs> that's an awesome goal it's an awesome goal thank you for that all right Kyle hi hello how are you Fine. Good. So Kyle, you you are a tech entrepreneur, and you also helped to establish um, the iMedia Center here uh, as an incoming student. Let's back up for a second and tell me about being a tech entrepreneur. What do you do? So yeah, I, I, I um, own and co-own two businesses. So uh, my main business right now is actually Corgevity, um, and it's a business I started with my dad. And what, what we do is basically go out and find businesses and companies that need help uh, solving technological problems, whether that be security or um, hardware or software. Um, and we also have a consumer side, so we'll help uh, you know, people in their homes install new thermostats, put in new TVs, um, so that, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, but I also run my own business called Kyle Tech Services um, here. Uh, you know, out of my home, and I'll replace screens on phones, um, or replace computers, update settings, and things like that. That's a big need. So you really, um, in doing all that, are really helping people solve problems. And right. So that it's great that you enjoy helping people solve problems. Right. Oh, very good. And so one of the things that you do is you have a, a new segment on uh, Connellsville News called Tech Tip Tuesday. Tell me about that. Yeah, so Tech Tip Tuesday is really, really just um, teaching students and teachers good technical tips, um, mainly for the Chromebooks, um, you know, just so that those students and teachers can get the most out of their technology and what the district is offering. Very good. It's awesome. You're using your skills to help people better understand technology and to be able to use it, um, as you mentioned before, without really thinking about it, just doing what they have to do with it. Right. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Al Morgan. So Morgan um, is with uh, TK the DJ. Yeah. You are TK's sister. Yeah. And so you are you you have you 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 work. So tell me about your life outside of school. Normally outside of school, what we do is we'll go home and do our homework first. But then after that, we have emails, phone calls, and everything to get back to, get things ready for the weekend, such as equipment, make sure everything still works, and. Um, get all the music ready for put together for the bride and groom for the weekend because normally we would just have weddings on Saturdays. Very good. So it's weddings every weekend mm -hmm. and that's how you spend your weekend. Mm -hmm. That's a great Friday, thing. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's a great way to spend a weekend. And in your and you're able, this is your job. Mm -hmm. So you're tell me where you're going to college? Um, I plan on going to Cal U okay. for teaching. Very good. And if I understand, you because of the the job that you have with TK the DJ mm -hmm. You, you're paying for your college education. Yeah. Done. Done. Mm -hmm. And so is her brother, who is also, I've already interviewed for a podcast. Um, they've, they've been in business for so long that they've been able to, to save the money to pay for their college education. That's amazing. That's amazing. Kyle, I'll have to come back to you for a second because I didn't ask you what you're going to do after school. Yeah, I intend to go to college mm -hmm. and for computer science and cybersecurity. Very good, very good. These kids are amazing. They, 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 they're amazing. And these are, these are a few. Um, so Nico, we just met yep. Nico today. And uh, so Nico is a, you've taken five AP classes, 
um, you're, you're working a job. Um, how do you manage to, to, to work a job and keep such a, a demanding academic schedule? Uh, I wake up early, like around five most days, to go to Duncan before coming to school. So that helps me get through the day. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a, a good coffee. thing. Yeah. That's good. Fo that helps you focus. <laughs> We were talking too in a, in, in a podcast um, that it's so easy to get distracted today. There are so many, it's so easy. You can be on your phone, you can be on the computer. You know, there would be, I'm sure, if, how many would raise your hand if you're like looking for a distraction? I need a distraction because I don't want to continue to do what, you're, what I'm doing. But to be able to stay focused on that, um, you mentioned there's actually an app for that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I actually checked after our podcast, but it's called Forest and uh, you plant a tree for like however long you want to study or do whatever to focus and you can't touch your phone or else like you can't leave the app or it will kill your tree and at the end you uh, like have a forest. It's awesome. So if progress. you stay focused you have a forest and that's so much like in life. If you if you lose focus you won't have a forest. You won't have that, that pretty thing at the end. That goal that you want to have it won't be able to be achieved because you didn't devote the time to it that you needed to, to make it happen. Um, so you mentioned that you are um, a manager um, at Fox's Pizza, so I want to be able to just, if you could share with us what that's taught you. Uh, it's taught me to deal with people a lot more, like communication skills. Uh, Very good. That's a great thing. It's a great yeah. thing. So going outside of your comfort zone, when you get a job, it's that one little step, just like a runner, that first step, you know, for you that first step was, uh, Josiah, was football. Um, but it led to the, everything else is going to come after that, just taking that very first step. So um, that's really awesome. So Adrian, how do these kids, and, and all the kids, there's so many more, inspire you every day? Well, you know, they all inspire me in different ways, but I think that knowing what they all go through and how much they have on their plates and they're all still able to succeed in one way or another and um, especially the strong kids but every single kid has a unique story and they still can put one foot in front of the other regardless of what they've gone through it, it just it makes my job worth it um, everything I do is for my students and um, they they just they impress me they inspire me, they impress me, um, just just what they're able to do, even at such a young age. Yes, it is amazing, and I should say too, it's absolutely. The Strong Kids podcast, it came about with a conversation with Adrian too, and you know, and I'll have to say that um, the piece that I didn't understand is how to, how to make it happen. I knew how to interview, I knew how to, to do that, I knew what I wanted to do, but they had, it, they had the, the resources here, they have the recording studio, they have the, the little one button studio and everything that they have here. So um, I'm able, she's the inspiration curator, I'm able to interview the students and then they put it together. I walk out the door and they edit it and they put music to it and then they, they get it in a format that I'm able to share it on Mary Motivates and SoundCloud. Um, we hope soon that I'll be able to get it on iTunes as well. But um, it all happens here and it's an amazing opportunity that Connellsville School District gives to the students and the amazing opportunity you provide for the students and you are all amazing for everything that you make happen every day. Um, you're making Kyle the, the iMedia Center. You helped build the iMedia uh, Center as far as its infrastructure, if that's correct, right? Help yep. the system with that. Yes. Exactly yes. that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And still today, the students are relied upon um, for their knowledge and their skills to be able to make this, this, make this go. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for all being strong kids and inspiring others. Truly, if we can um, uh, reach out to others and, and let them know what we know, what we've overcome. Before I leave, I'm going to ask one question before I head out this door. What's the biggest challenge you've overcome? Who wants to share? Biggest challenge you've overcome? That's well, hard to think of right now. Mm. <laughs> huh? Nico? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I when I was little, I was like very awkward. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and now he's student council president. He, ex yeah. Exactly. You forgot to mention that he's student council president, manager um, at a pizza shop, and so you did exactly that, putting one foot in front of the other. And so now that you have to deal with people all the time, um, you've really been able to come out of your shell, and um, that's an awesome thing. We all have challenges we're overcoming, and being strong kids 
um, makes it possible. And being a strong kid helps inspire others to go out of their comfort zone too and uh, make a difference in our community. So thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Strong Kids can be heard at MaryMotivates.com and on SoundCloud. The podcast was created to cultivate a culture of kindness, respect, and understanding in schools. Because if we can understand what each other is going through and we can learn from each other, we can make the world a kinder place. Thanks so much to Connellsville High School and their iMedia Center for making the Strong Kids podcast possible.